Hey there, and welcome to this ProFlows quick tip. My name is Cameron, and today we're talking about camera lens blur using gradients. And this is a really powerful uh, technique to have a lot of control over your blur, your gradient that's, that's affecting your blur map. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I have an image here, it's a pre-comped image. Uh, it's just a composition. I find that this works best if the pre-comp is set to the same size as our composition. So our composition is 1920 by 1080, and that's what size this pre-comp is. Here it is, it's a 1920 by 1080 pre-comp. You can see the image is quite large, which is why I brought it into a pre-comp here. I've also applied a camera lens blur here, and I've just reset it to five as a blur radius. Now, what I wanna show you here is if you create a new shape layer, so make sure nothing's selected, and just double click your rectangle tool here, and it's gonna create a new shape layer. Okay, and it's defaulting, my computer last used a uh, radial gradient, and I want to just select a linear gradient just like this. And working with these gradients, you can see we have these, these handles here, okay? Now I can tell, I can turn this layer off, I can tell my image camera lens blur, I can tell the blur map layer to look at that shape layer and change this blur map based upon that. So if I crank up the blur, instead of applying it to the entire image here, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat edge pixels here. Instead of applying the entire blur map to this entire layer, I can select my shape layer, my gradient, and it's going to look at the white and black values and that how it is, is how it determines the gradient. Well, what's cool about this effect is that I can turn this layer on, I can make it an adjustment layer, and now I can't see the layer but I can select my rectangle fill and I can adjust the gradient this way, right? So I can get a lot of control here for how I want my image to look while seeing the image. It's a very uh, powerful, easy way to adjust the lens blur effect this way. So you can see here, you know, I can get a lot of control. I can also go into my gradient editor here and really, you know, play with these values, the gray values, and really get some really interesting looks. So that's using the linear gradient. I'm gonna show you the radial gradient as well. So I'll go into my pre-comp here. I'll turn on my image above, which is an eye. Thought this would be kind of cool to show with the radial gradient. Change my fill to, instead of linear, to radial. Click OK. And again, I can come in here and select like if I want the center point of my eye to be in focus, like that. You know, just get some really interesting looks this way. And uh, obviously I could go in and play around with my blur radius, you know, make it much more intense, a little bit less intense, uh, go into things like the highlight mode and play around with those kind of settings as well. But that is how you can use a shape layer gradient fill to control your camera lens blur with a lot of control over how the blur map is working.